you come after one of our officers, you're coming through all of us. Uh, we support our officers in the work that they do, uh, and we lift up those officers that are continuing to respond to calls for service, even when we're seeing this uptick of violence. One man is dead and an officer is injured after a shootout on the south side of Columbus this morning. It happened just before 7 when officers responded to reports of an armed robbery. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Sierra Johnson in for Jared Smalley. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. Columbus police say the officer is lucky to be alive and is now in stable condition. Now they are asking for the community's help in prayer and in action. Tonight, NBC4 is bringing you team coverage. Caleb Michael will join Join us from the scene of the shooting in just a moment. But first, Anna Hoffman is live at Grant Medical Center where that officer is recovering. Anna, what do we know right now about the status of that officer? Jennifer and Sierra, I'm told the officer is in good spirits. We do not know the officer's identity and Columbus police say they will not be sharing that with us. I will say that all day officers have been going in and out of Grant Medical Center. This scene at Grant Medical Center is unfortunately becoming all too familiar. For the second time in under a month, I'm here at Grant Hospital visiting one of our officers who has been shot. A Columbus police officer was shot while responding to an armed robbery in South Columbus Wednesday morning. Police say the officer was shot in the lower half of his body. The suspect was killed. The officer was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and has since been upgraded to stable. Pray for this officer his family for a full and speedy recovery. Pray for all of our officers that are serving our neighbors throughout this city. And if you have any information regarding this incident or other incidents, to share that information with Crime Stoppers. First Assistant Chief Lashana Potts says this is the 10th officer involved shooting this year. This is the second where an officer was seriously injured since July. She says there have been 106 assaults on officers since the start of the year. I asked her why she thinks this is happening. If we can get the guns out of hands of criminals, we wouldn't be having this conversation every single week. But unfortunately, until the laws change, this is where we'll be. Potts says this is tough on everyone in the division. We were just in there talking to officers, reassuring them that the help that they need, the support that we've given them, will continue to do so. Now city leaders are asking for prayers. This officer is lucky to be alive. His actions, actions of his partners uh, saved his life. And change. We need action. And again, if the state legislature won't take action, get out of our way. Columbus police tell me this officer does have a long road to recovery ahead. They say their family is in good spirits as well, but this is news that no family wants to hear. Local for you at Grant Medical Center, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4. Anna, thank you. And that shooting happened in the Greater Southern Shopping Center parking lot on the south side of Columbus. NBC4's Caleb Michael is there now, joins us live with the latest. Caleb, what can you tell us? Well, Jen, this is a vastly different situation in the scene that we saw just this morning. Things are quiet here now. Just a piece of crime tape is really left to show what all went on this morning. But for some of the businesses that I spoke with in the area, they tell me that it was a scary morning. I heard gunshots or I knew immediately it was not fireworks. When Twyla Fultz arrived at Advantage Early Learning Academy this morning, it was the last thing she expected. Well, I have to ask, anything like this happened over here before? No. Not to my knowledge. Just before 7 o'clock this morning, Columbus police responded to multiple reports of an armed robbery in progress at the Greater Southern Shopping Center. They encountered the suspect with the firearm. Uh, immediately, shots were fired between the officers and the suspect. Fultz describes what she heard outside. 30, 40 shots. A lot of shots. Yeah. One of my parents came out the door and she's like, oh, man. Police officer just shot somebody. Sergeant Joe Albert with Columbus Police confirmed it was an officer involved shooting. Multiple officers fired their weapons. Okay. During the exchange of gunfire, one the, the suspect and one officer was struck by the gunfire. Officers rendered aid to both the suspect and the officer on scene. Both were transported to Grant Hospital. A 
around 7:20 this morning, the adult male suspect was pronounced dead. The officer believed to have been hit in his lower extremities is expected, though, to be OK. Um, we're asking the community just to pray for the, the officer involved, their family. For Fultz, she tells me she only had one priority this morning. We wanted to make sure that the children stay safe. We locked down immediately. We were not going to allow a parent in here without me standing at the door allowing them. Sergeant Albert saying this entire situation is unfortunate, but Columbus police is undeterred. We will continue to support our officer who's injured and their family uh, and we'll continue to do our job in the most professional way that we can. Columbus police say they do have an additional suspect in custody, but it is unclear what their connection to this incident is. BCI is now in charge of this active and ongoing investigation. Bogle for you in Columbus. I'm Caleb Michael, NBC4.